Okay, so uh, we've got the Warren 12,000 pound synthetic rope. Um, I'm gonna unbox that for the trailer. It's going on a gooseneck. Instructions. This is, you can see how nice that's packed. Hopefully you can see that. So here's the winch. I'm going to give you a little bit better walk around around it. I didn't do a very good job. Uh, all your connections there. That's your ground stud. Just run that to your battery and your power cable, obviously. You can uh, remote mount that. From what I understand, that comes off. This is uh, like that turns really easy, which is nice. Um, that's your free spool. This will bolt right into the bracket. This will bolt on the front using the bolts and these are the bolts to go through the bracket into the winch. I do have longer bolts in case uh, it doesn't fit through the cross member in the trailer. Gonna make sure on that. Uh, negative cable came with it. Here's your control. Very nice. Um, this works cordless and also corded so we can plug it in or if you're in the vehicle you can pull yourself up. That's everything right there except for that plate that came in with the winch, sorry. These are the extras. It's nice stopper and the cover. And I'll get a better zoom in on this. If that it helps anyone. It was cheaper just to pick up that mount than uh, try and make one myself. So uh, it's pretty windy outside. I think I'm just gonna time lapse putting that on and then we'll come back when it's on. Okay, so um, we got this plate kind of centered it's behind the uh, this piece here. That way those chains won't rub it whenever you got the hook in there. I mean, ideally you do this when the trailer's empty, but uh, here we are. So just got some pencil marks as to where it's gonna sit. The winch is far enough back, it's not gonna hit those. Um, it is four and a half by 10 this way. Pretty easy measurements. Uh, I'm gonna pop some holes, paint the fresh steel and then bolt this right there then the wiring just goes this way down right into the box underneath let's get to it Do send shorter ones. They're uh, actually those might be the right line. Let's try those ones. They're all drilled. I'm gonna splash some paint in these nice little holes just to keep it from rusting, like that. And then uh, I'll be back once that's bolted solid. Okay, so uh, as of right now, this is what we have. We have the winch mounted. I just gotta torque all these tomorrow, all those bolts tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna pick up some P clips to mount this a little bit better, a little bit nicer. I wanna get a grommet for in there. Uh, oh, I'm gonna be mad if I spill my coat. We better set that down. Just gotta get a battery for uh, right in there, connect that up. And then, uh, well, you can see it from the back how it looks. 
That'd be nice. Right across there. Tie those up a little better tomorrow. Uh, I got the control over here. Put the little uh, stopper on. Just uh, that's where the rope got thin because the extra braiding on the end. Uh, you can see the cover on here. Be better this way. I had to rope the wires. That way the cover would still come off. Anyways, uh, cover. Yeah, it seems to work nice. You can still get at this. The only thing is you got to pull the cover off. It looks like to get at the plug for the controller, but the controller is also wireless, so I'll have to test that later. I mean, overall, I think it looks pretty damn nice in there. Um, I guess we'll be back tomorrow with a couple more parts and uh, finish the install then. We're back. It's been raining. So this is uh, between all the rains. Between the rains. You know what I mean. It's the next day anyways. Got her all put on. Got the uh, stopper on there. That hooks up on the chain rack really nice. Uh, I took the cover off. It's just chilling up there because I was working on it. Okay. So under here. I need to zoom out a little bit. Got it all uh, tied up, some nice green zip ties, because that's all I had. Gonna change those to black someday. Gonna put a grommet around here. Right around here. Protect these. Uh, just through a deep cycle, group 31 in here, battery hold down. This trailer actually has uh, these two wires. Turns out those are uh, for lights. I thought they were to charge this battery, so I'm gonna have to wire this in later to charge off the truck. Um. Oh, and I bought this little boot just to cover that. The reason these are looped around like this is because when the cover comes down, there's a strap. It comes right around here. I'll show that in a minute. Sprayed everything with some battery protector, and terminal protector. That stuff. Um, we're gonna put this first test. And then we'll uh, unload this. We'll get it set up, pull that off, and go from there. Say that was a success. That uh, pretty much does it for this video. Uh, actually, I'll show you this. That's with the cover on. Still very usable. And there's what I was talking about with this. This just comes around. Uh, next time you see this trailer, I want to add some lights in there. In there, just on a switch. That way I can turn those on whenever I'm pulling chains and stuff out. Um, and then some lights up here for loading and maybe reverse lights. I think that's the next time you'll see this trailer. Um, oh, and a disconnect for the winch just in the box there. Pretty easy. But uh, these next couple videos I got are on my white Dodge here. Um, I've probably taken them over the last year. So gonna have to well I gotta post those and then we'll be back on the Bronco maybe. I got another project actually. Well as well with the Bronco. That's what that box is for. It's for the other project and maybe I'll video my dad's project for that one. It's got a 1966 Mercury truck. That's what you're using that frame for. Um Yeah. Hope you stuck around. Have a good one.